What's up guys, Damien Keys here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about the role of a music manager, including what is it that a music manager will do for you? And how does a music manager get paid? And also the most important bit, which is how do you get yourself a good music manager? Now there isn't a day that goes past that I don't get asked by some artist whether I want to manage them. Now I'm not a music manager, but even if I was a music manager, the first thing I think is why would I want to do that? What is in it for me? Where is your leverage? Before we break this down and we go into all of the details, I wanna give you the best piece of advice that I can possibly think of when it comes to music management. Being scalable, is much better than being talented, okay? Just bear that in mind as we go through this video. Now, many artists think that when they get a manager, they can just hand over everything and take a nice deep breath knowing that someone is gonna take away all of their problems. And to be honest with you, they're not far from the truth. A good music manager can make the difference between you actually being successful and you not being successful. But it isn't quite as simple as that because every music manager will have different skills and they will play into to those skills to be able to help you. But the most important thing that a music manager will do is building the strategy and helping to implement that strategy to get you to the place that you want to be. So a manager will be looking for opportunities to drive you forward to reach your goal. But it's very difficult to say what a manager would do on a day-to-day -day basis because that would depend on you and it would depend on them and their skill set. But let's look at a few examples. Let's take someone like, well, me. Okay, I don't have Lucian Grange on speed dial, but I've got quite a lot of links to industry. I work with some labels. I work with some managers. I work with lots of artists. I know lots of promoters. I know some legals. So therefore, I've got my fingers in enough pies to be able to drive an artist forward. But is that the place that I would start? Absolutely not. My job would be that I want to build the audience and I want to be able to start to monetize that build because if I can do that, it becomes scalable. Now, the reason why I would utilize this strategy rather than start to pitch you around different labels is because this plays right into my skill set. So with that in mind, the strategy for us would be the songs, building the social media content, building that audience, bringing them value and then monetizing. Then from that point, we scale. And hopefully at that point, we start bringing some money in. And this is where we talk about how managers get paid. So if I asked you how much a manager would get, you'd probably say, well, I've heard it's 20%. Yes, but it all depends on a number of things. And so a manager would probably traditionally get somewhere between 15 and 20%. Although a manager could easily take 50% if they are that powerful and if they have that much leverage. So it's pretty simple. I would get, say, 15% of money that comes in, of your income, which could be anything from ticket sales. It could be merch, it could be CD sales, it could be streaming, it could be an advance, it could be a sync, uh, it could be an endorsement. Anything that comes in, technically, as the manager, I am owed that percentage, let's say 15%. But a manager is like a business partner. So let's say you go and do a massive show and you get paid $100,000 brilliant. I would get 15 to 20%, 15,000 to $20,000. Yes, except you've got expenses. So therefore you might have to pay session musicians. You might have to pay the venue. You might have to pay for someone to run the merch stand, yada, yada, yada. And all of a sudden your hundred thousand might come down to $40,000 profit. Now then, if that $40,000 profit is yours, I would get 20%, in this case, 15 to 20% of the 40,000. So in order to build the artist, you might spend a lot of money on a radio tour or studio costs or uh, marketing or legals. All of that gets deducted before the manager would take their split. Which leads us on to the real big question, which is, how do I get a music manager? Well, there's a few parts to this, but you firstly have to think about your leverage, about the supply and demand. There are around about 100,000 tracks being released every single day. How many artists does that make? Hundreds of thousands. How many managers are there? Not very many. A handful, you know, there might be 10,000, 20,000, maybe 30,000, but a tiny fraction of managers than there are artists. They're always gonna have their pick of the bunch. There's always gonna be that hot talent. There's always gonna be an artist that's doing well that needs a manager. So that has to be you. You need to have that leverage. Now this is where it has to make sense and this is where you have to be slightly hard on yourself. Is it monetizable? If it isn't monetizable, why would someone come in and, and give all of their time and their experience and their contacts to build something then they are not getting something out? So therefore, a good manager probably isn't gonna be interested. Then, 
Are you manageable? And that sounds crazy. You're like, of course I am. I've got great music. No, 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 no. If you're not manageable, if you can't get your ass out of bed, if you can't actually deliver on the things that you say that you're going to do, if you can't do the things that mean you are a successful artist and you aren't manageable, a manager can't help you. And so therefore, some really strong advice is if the world is full of artists, the world is full of songwriters, great. But what makes you different? What makes you stand out? Why would that manager say, oh, I've not seen this before, this is something interesting, and this is something new? Then you need to build your empire. Now, let me tell you what I mean by this, okay? We are going to build that audience, but why are we building the audience? What are you going to do with that audience? So therefore, it needs to be clear. The artist that you are needs to have a way to be able to bring that money in before we go and get that audience. It's kind of like building a brand and building a store. Once you've got that attention and people say, oh, I want the thing, and then they know how to get the thing, that means you build the audience and you can scale. Not only can you scale the numbers within the audience, but you can now scale the dollar. And that is where a really good manager comes in. Because going back to the beginning, being scalable is better than being talented. You could be talented, but I've got nothing. I'm like, right, I have to create everything around you. My job as a manager isn't to create the world around you. My job as a manager is to scale what you're doing, is to make sure that this goes to the masses and make sure that we can actually get a result off the back of it. This is the golden rule, your job is not to find a manager. Your job is to make yourself manageable. Your job is to make something that works, albeit very small. Now, I would suggest that a good manager will start sniffing around you when you're hitting around about the 50,000 followers on a platform. You know that people are gonna start sniffing around and taking you seriously when you're in the tens of thousands. Now, don't forget, when I'm saying, oh, just go and build an audience of 50,000 people, I understand that it isn't as simple as that, but that's what this channel's for. That is what DK Music Business Academy is all about. How are you gonna build that audience as quick as possible possible so that you have proof of concept so that you can take it to a manager or a live agent or a label. So if you're not sure about those bits, then go and check out DK Music Business Academy. That is where you are going to find more information on how to do this as quick as possible. But I hope that helped and hopefully this will help you to go and get a manager. Before you go, do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe because it does make a huge difference. Cheers. I'll see you on the next one.